Hey guys, back for round one here. We lost the die roll. Our opponent keeps. We wish him good luck here. <sighs> this hand. I think we have to mulligan it. It's a six lander. Well, this is fine. I guess. We got both of our colors. Don't have red, but that's okay. We got a... 2 mana 3 3, which is generally pretty good against the red decks. Uh, maybe I should have played the island there. I should have played the island in case I draw Dissolve. I could leave up Dissolve next turn because I probably don't want to play this Nimbus Nyad. Could have the Skull Cleaver here. Okay. That's a card. Probably not blocking that one. Alright, well, we're not doing anything. Let's just. Let's just bash. I don't think it's worth playing our Nyad as a 3-2-2 two, two is going to do much against this 2-3. Get some, maybe get some value off bestowing that later. So, perhaps playing mono red. Perhaps not. Could be playing a second color. There was quite a bit of red going around, I noticed, but... Alright, well that's a card. Yeah, it appears that he's probably off a second color. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to play our, our land pad, and then next turn, give it flying. I like that. And then the following turn, whip of Erebos. So let's just cast our land pad and pass the turn, and just hope he doesn't have a lightning strike or magma jet effect. He's more than welcome to hit us for two here, I'm not blocking. There's just too many things that scry. And I, I'm okay taking two. Let's bash for four, four intimidate. I mean, he could be playing uh, black, but uh, I mean. Okay. So I'm okay with that. Uh, he probably, if he is planning on attacking, he should have attacked before, but he's still representing. Okay. Yeah, he. He could have attacked me there. Alright, well. Let's just bash for four. Then we can sip next turn. Definitely like how many bestow creatures we have. Love bestow in this format. Can be very annoying though to play against. And they bestow a creature, you kill a creature, then they bestow something onto the bestow creature and just just keep building a bear. That's what they should call this set. Build a bear set. And that's pretty much what you do. Okay. So I mean, that's pretty bad knowing that I guess he like because we have whipped that's pretty bad, but I mean he gets to he does get to attack us for nine here. But he can't attack with his return phalanx. So I don't Yeah, that's weird. Why didn't he Oh, because he couldn't attack through this group on our head? And he gets more damage in if he just takes this, he gets in for eight instead of six. Yeah, perhaps a misplay. Uh, I don't want to sip here. Let's just play whip. Uh, just in case he has any shenanigans. And bash for... Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll just bash for 7 here. Totally forgot I had enough mana to attack. Alright. What? This, this draw turned out pretty well. Okay, so he's playing green. So yeah, we'll, we'll try to play around Portna Betrayal. I honestly, I don't think it's a main deck card. I mean, if he has enough Flame Speaker add-ups, it's probably fine. But I'm never a big fan of playing Portna main board. There's some decks that just it's just not good against. I mean, it's fine against us. 
but there's a lot of like very aggressive strategies where like you, you don't want to have Portna Betrayal in your deck. Okay, he's dead. He's dead on board. We attack him for four and sip a guy. Yeah, I don't, excuse me, I don't think there's anything in with the three red that kills this. I mean, sure, uh, yeah, you know what, there is. He could have um, Lightning Strike and Spark Drill, which would be fine for him, actually. But we'll attack. Hope he doesn't have those two cards. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, we, it, we might not want to show him the sip, but I think I'd rather just win the game. All right, sweet. So to sideboarding. So yeah, our, our removal package is going to be very nice against him. The Magma Jet kills, kills some stuff in his deck. We may not want Ordeal. Um, Ordeal's fine, but against his deck, we might we might just need like the 2-drop or the Boon. I think I'm going to just... Oh, we have 3 return failings. That's enough for defensive creatures. Maybe we want the boon. Like boon is like it does take life, but it is it can it's a very defensive card. It can be a defensive or an aggressive card. Um, maybe we do want the four drop, a nice four drop, but because I mean against him, our four drop isn't the best as like a two two. Yeah, let's do that. Upper creature count. We got some defense. We like all of our creatures are. You know. Pretty defensive. Yeah, let's run it like this. Alright, well, again, another six lander. Like, if we were on the play and he wasn't the fast, it's like a fast deck. Like, I mean, if he goes turn three creature and we go turn three, like, it's, it just puts, can put us behind. If this had a return phalanx in it, I'd, I'd snap it off. But uh, I think we do have to mulligan in this hand. I think some people would keep this hand. And just try to draw out of it. Like we only need a second land to play this and then a third land. So we have two draw steps to draw a land and three draw steps to draw two land. Uh, the odds are a little bit against us for the third land. Yeah, I think we have to mulligan. And this hand doesn't do anything. <sighs> Alright. We, we got two lander in return failings. Alright, let's get there. That's hilarious. All right, we're drawing land. All right, well, if we can draw a mountain, we got a removal spell. We've never mulling into three before. Let's see how we do. See if we can make a game out of it anyway. I would love to draw my unknown shores here. That would be nice. Because I, yeah, I want to be able to like block that and then he does a trick or something and then we get to lightning strike it. Ooh. Well, that's going to be a card. Yeah, well, I'm not blocking. Let's bash. Let's get in there. Let's race him. So hopefully we can draw some land next turn. That's annoying. That is very annoying, actually. All right, we're drawing. So oh, well, that's good. Why couldn't I have lightning strike? Oh. Why could I not have my red mana? Oh well. No, we're not double blocking. 
Because, yeah, he just makes his guy a six. Anything that scries. All right, let's let's get through this. We got this. We got this. Just draw like a red source, kill a guy, then draw like a Nimbus Naiad and just beat for five a turn. So we're gonna get smacked in the face for four here, potentially seven. And he could also, he, like, we could also have a creature in hand. I kind of want to double block, but... We're just going to be so behind on resources. We got to, we got to protect our resources. Since, you know, we started the game with four less cards. I guess we, we're on the draw, so we, we started the game with three less cards. Oh, excuse me. He's deep in the tank. Okay. Well, he's not progressing his board, so I mean that that's good for us. We are gonna get bashed for eight here. Let's just F6. No, oh, no, I can't do math. It's math for nine. Alrighty. Now let's pass. Uh, I feel like since he did that, he may not actually have something else to, to, to pump with this. I mean, we get two for one no matter what he has because. Darn, I wish I drew a creature. Okay. Yeah, well. Looks like we're blocking that. And the reason to keep playing to not and not concede when you mulligan that low is just to see what your opponent's playing. Screw it, I like my odds, let's go to one. I like I like my chances here. I just want to be able to maybe double block that. Yeah, let's concede. I mean, I could wait and... Oh, there's the sip. Darn. Darn. Oh, well. That's what happens when you mulligan to three. We, we, were, we were in the game for a little bit there. Yeah, I'm just going to run it like this. Run it like this. So for removal, we just saw Rage of Perforos. We'll go first. Yes, finally, we don't have to mulligan. Okay, we got two drop, three drop, four drop. I might just save this. There's no reason to play this turn four if I don't have to and get some value out of it. It's very good against him because, you know, he's not playing black, so. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. It is, it is quarter to three in the morning, but probably shouldn't be playing Magic. Might see some misplays. Might have already misplayed. Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, ooh! I like drawing my one of Mountain. He's probably annoyed at our return phalanx this year. So this guy has no two drops on his deck apparently. Oh, that is yummy. That is just nom noms right there. All right, let's get our Triton down. Let's pass the turn. 
I wish I could. I want to draw something uh, to play next turn and try to save these bestow creatures, but I also want to play Thassa's Emissary to try to draw some cards. Okay. Yes, I'm going to block. The reason I'm blocking is just because, I mean, the four damage, it's not that the four damage is that I don't want him to be able to potentially double block next turn. And also to next turn, I can play my fastest emissary and then he plays a creature and then I'm able to, you know, maybe draw a spell that taps this down. So we're are going to, or um, I can target this and tap down his creature. So we're just going to block like this. Uh, yeah, perfect, right? Because um, now I can like target this, tap down a creature, attack for six. Yeah, this this is very nice, right? And then the turn after that, if we draw land, we can bestow our land pad onto like our emissary and, and attack. And we'll have a, a three six flyer and a five five intimidate that draws us a card. So we'll attack because even if he plays another minotaur, I'm not blocking. So this is what our deck wants to do, you know, play something that, you know, doesn't play something that prevents us from dying and then play some bestow creatures. Yeah, that's fine with me. All right, well, I would like to draw land. See, I mean, the, well, the play could be to just make this a 5-5 five, five flyer. Yeah, I, th I think that's probably better. No, maybe... I mean, we have two draws to draw a land. Yeah, let's do that. We have two draws to draw a land. We're good. We're good. Beaten for six here. Draw a card. God, I love Thassa's Emissary. There she is. I'm going to bash for eight next turn. Build, build our own bear here. Well, it gains him some life. I mean, he can't block, so. Yeah, well, uh, no need to play on own choice here. Good thing is, is none of our creatures died a rage of Perforos, which is nice. Get in for eight, put him on the two turn. So he needs to play something that can block. And if he tries to raise this, we have a blocker. Pretty cool. Yeah, this this game's turning out pretty well. You know, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty pretty good curve. Hitting all of our land drops. I like it. I like it a lot. And that's the thing, like, even if he answers both of these, we're just left with a 2-2 Intimidate and a 2-2 Flyer that he can't block anyway. And this is why Bestow is just, just nuts. And just, just wins too many games. Oh, these cards are so good. These two blue, these two blue uh, Bestow cards are just insane. Let's see what he has for us here. All right. Well, that. Ooh, that blocks this. Yeah, that's actually. Wow, that's good. Well, let, let's draw something that targets this and tap that guy down and win. You, you attack me for six. You can't block. All right, Buna Verbos. Yeah, and there's no reason to attack here. Like he, he he's gonna block. Let's just get some creatures down. Oh, we'll leave up red. Leave up red and blue. Those are the scariest colors. 
this leaves those voyages end and like any of the two mana red removal spells that are in our deck somewhere. So he doesn't do anything to to come back here, like play something like big with reach or something. Rage of Perforos maybe on like a Okay. That scared me for a second, but we don't have any artifacts. Okay, good good thing for him it's a May effect. Oh, he's freaking out. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be nice here. Just didn't know. Oh, he, he may not have an out. He, it, I feel like he's just telling me he doesn't have a way to beat a flyer in his deck. Let's play the unicorn just in case. I'll leave up. Leave up dissolve. Yeah, and even if he kills this, he's at two. So, like, even if he had shredding winds or something, uh, we still kill him. Oh no, I just don't kill him next turn. He would just shredding winds on our on our attack step when we go to attack. So he has two turns if he has Shredding Winds. So I feel like we got this game. I mean, you never know in Magic, but... In his colors, anyway, I don't really think there's any way to deal with the six toughness creature. Yeah, gives us the GGs. I actually haven't gotten GGs from an opponent in a while, from that I can remember. Most people uh, just kind of quit. I, I try to give GGs every time. I mean, there are some times I get like I get like frustrated. And I'm just like, oh. Normally, I get frustrated when I misplay. I normally don't get frustrated because my opponent like drew very well or has a better deck than me it's just generally i'm just like mad at myself so i i concede but i generally try to give ggs to everybody i play or like a good luck in the finals type of factor or anything like that it's because magic magic is just all about having fun there's no need to to get mad at your opponent or uh with the variance in magic the only time i get mad like super mad is just when i misplay so but yeah i'll uh i'll see you guys for round two